Yes, it's that time again. It's time for a mental health moment. Yes, the last one I put out was about a month ago, a little, a month and some days ago. Um, and I'm working through some things. And the next video I end up putting out, you'll be able to understand because I thought that was going to be the message today. Um, so just bear with me and I guarantee that message will, will definitely bless you. So today we're going to talk a little bit about supports. I know I put a video out a little bit over a year ago, but I find as time goes, you know, I've even used this phrase, all the people that I help, I can't find one person to help me. Have you ever said that? Or nobody is ever around when I'm in need, but I'm always there for everybody else. You said that, right? I know I have. And I found myself saying that over these past couple of weeks as well. So as I was sitting and I was talking to somebody, they asked, why don't you reach out for support or help when you're in need? I had to pause for a second. And then I realized, I said, the reason why I don't reach out for help or ask for support when I'm in need because most people around me aren't capable to offer the same support that I give. Then the conversation ended and I began to sit and dwell on that for a little while. And I asked myself, who am I looking for the support from? I have a lot of people in my corner who's willing to support me and offer the help. But who am I looking for, right? The support from. Who is that person I'm looking for the support from? I find that oftentimes when we use the, the statement of, I always help everybody else, but nobody is ever around when I'm in need. And we're often saying that to a person that's on the other line or around us that's there to support. So I find that I'm looking for the same support from everybody that I give to them when they're not capable of offering that same support. I know I sound like I'm going all over the place, but just stay with me for a few more seconds. See, when we're going to do different things and we just finish helping that last person, and then now a storm comes in our life, we often are looking for that person that we just helped a day or two ago to turn around and offer the same support. When in reality, we already have people that are constantly in our corner and pushing us forward. I'm saying to you today, stop looking for specific people to offer you support and help in your time of need. When you have a whole bunch of people in the corner, begin to recognize those people that you have in the corner that are there rooting you on that you're pushing to the side because you're just so used to them always being around and be a support to them. And it's like a give and take. You're supporting, they're supporting you back. It's like you guys are constantly going through the cycle of helping each other. And stop looking at the people that you just finished helping that don't have the capabilities to help and support you in the same way. Begin to embrace those that are in your corner and allow others to help. Because we cannot do it on our own. You can't do it on your own. We need each other. We're relational people. I'm learning this. I'm going through it. I'm going through the process right along with you. Allow people to help you in your time of need. And no longer say, there's nobody to help me in my time of need. Because there is. Begin to recognize it, acknowledge it, embrace it, and love. Allow the support to come in. Thank you for listening. Next video is going to be awesome. I'm going to give you a little snippet of what that title is going to be. That title is going to be Comparison, The Silent Dream Killer. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Stay blessed.